Hello, welcome to today's Lightboard Tech Talk. We're going to be talking about load balancer health checks. Load balancers manage connections from clients to pools of servers and steers client connections to specific application servers based on their availability. The load balancer determines the availability by performing regular health checks. The load balancer performs the health checks to determine the status of the application server and whether it is available or proper for it to send a specific client connection to it. Load Balancer starts by doing something simple. It does an ICMP health check. It makes a connection to the server using ICMP, very simple, echo to the server, and then gets a response of an echo reply. And once it sees that, it knows that the server is on the network and ready to accept connections. The next thing the load balancer does is the layer four health check. So it does a layer four health check by performing, for example, for TCP and HTTP, a TCP handshake. This three-way handshake goes to the specific TCP port for HTTP is usually port 80, for example, to make sure that the application and the server is listening on that port for, for the service. So the TCP handshake consists of a send to the server. The server will respond with a send ACK, and then the load balancer will finish that three-way handshake with an ACK. So now we know the application server is listening on that port and ready to accept connections for the application. Next, we start getting a little more advanced. We'll do a layer seven health check. This layer seven health check for HTTP, for example, will be sending content to the application and expecting some sort of response. So for example, for HTTP, we might send a get slash HTTP 1.1. And then we will get a response. And within that response, we should see within the header a 200 OK. The 200 is the status code. It means that the application server is happy and is ready to take connections and is responding. You might see other status codes, well-known status codes like 404, page not found, or 503, server unavailable. The load balancer looks at that status code and determines the availability of the server. So if we see a 404, we know that page is not available and will not put that application server in service. This is the common way that health checks are done by the load balancer on a regular basis. And now the cool thing is we can get more advanced. So we can do a custom layer seven health check and I'm gonna do it for HTTP where I can do a query to a specific page. So I'm going to do a query to get test.html. And within that test.html, the applications or a developer wrote code to check backend components like the database, middleware, other pieces. And once it knows that those backend components are good or bad, it will send a text within that page to say, for example, server up or down. And the load balancer can actually look and parse the response and look for specific strings like server up or server down and take that application server in or out of service based on that availability. So that's really cool because now we're not just testing the server and the web component, whether it's Apache or Nginx or some other type of web server, we can actually test the full application itself and all the backend components by doing these custom health checks and creating test pages to send responses that check the backend components. So now that we have all these health checks, the load balancer does this at a regular interval to make sure the server's up or down because it might be up now, two hours from now, two weeks from now, the server may be down. How do we know? 
Well, we send the health checks on regular intervals. By default, we send the health checks on a nine second interval is what we recommend. Every nine seconds. And we wait for the response from the server every four seconds. If it takes more than four seconds for the server to respond, the application is probably not gonna be happy, the user's not gonna have a good experience. So four seconds is probably a good time to wait to get a response. And now we do these health checks every nine seconds, we wait four seconds, and we don't take the server down every single time it fails a health check. That could get cumbersome and we might see a lot of bouncing with servers going up and down, failing and passing health checks because of various reasons. So we usually do a check for every two times in a row that the low bouncer, I mean the application server fails a health check. Then we take it out of service. It has to fail two times in a row. And after it fails two times in a row, that application server is taken out of service. But in the meantime, the load balancer is still sending these health checks. It'll still send health checks every nine seconds because it wants to know, are you back? Are you back? Are you back? And when the server finally gets repaired or fixed or whatever situation is resolved, and the application is happy, the load bounce will automatically know and bring that application server back into service so that the clients can make connections to it. So hopefully this was a pretty good overview of how load bouncers do health checks, what they're doing when they do health checks, and give you an understanding of how load bouncers manage the availability of these application servers for the client connections. Thank you for joining today's Lightboard Tech Talk. Please subscribe to Kemp's YouTube channel and follow us to see more Lightboard Tech Talks about more technologies. Thank you very much.